The first line in our first reading today is very appropriate. There's a line that says, Children, it is the final hour. At midnight, we will celebrate the end of 2020 and begin the new journey of 2021. And as we begin the new year, we're challenged to make some new resolutions, to choose to get rid of some bad habits and decide to change something about ourselves that isn't too good. I do think, though, that when we compare ourselves with where we were a year ago, we will find that we're different now. A lot of people I visited with, they've been telling me that the church and their faith is much more important now than it was this time last year. I think we're different in that we realize how small the world is. An outbreak somewhere in China can quickly infect the whole world. I think we're different in that we realize now how intertwined we are, how reliant we are upon those who provide important services. I think we're different in that we've had to refocus ourselves. We had to spend time alone. Hopefully we've come away from that experience of some aloneness with more introspection, that we're more thoughtful, more reflective, like Mary who reflected on things in her heart, the scripture says. And speaking of Mary, tomorrow is New Year's Day, the feast of Mary, the mother of God. We turn to Mary on the first day of the year because when she gave birth to Jesus, all humanity had a fresh start, a new beginning. And what a blessing Jesus is, and what a blessing our faith has been, especially during the past year. But thank God today for your blessings, even after such a challenging year. And be open to the blessings God has in store for you in 2021. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a grateful New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm.